ربي ونتوكل عليه ونتوب إليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله بلغ الرسالة وأدى الأمانة ونصح الأمة وكشف الغمة وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى أتانا حتى أتانا اليقين اللهم صل وسلم على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعلى آل محمد وعلى أزواج سيدنا محمد وعلى أحباب سيدنا محمد وعلى ذرية سيدنا محمد وصل تسليم كثيرا إلى يوم الدين أما بعد فإن أدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاته وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار أما بعد فيقول الحق سبحانه وتعالى في كتابه العزيز الذي لا يأتيه الباطل من بين يديه ومن خلفه يا أهل الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وتنظر نفس ما قدمت بغد واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون هذه دعوة مفتوحة ودعوة راشدة ودعوة ربانية إلى من أراد الهداية والرشاد فما من أحد يسير على هدي الحبيب صلوات ربي وسلامه عليه وعلى ما أتى به الكتاب القرآن الكريم إلا اهتدى ورشد وما من أحد زار عنها إلا هلك والعياذ بالله بس الله سبحانه وتعالى أن يلهمنا الثواب والتثبيت والسير متمسكين بسنة الحبيب صلى الله عليه وسلم والقرآن الكريم حتى نحظى بالسعادتين في الدارين سعادة الدنيا والآخرة وحتى يفخر من تفخر من الملائكة وتفخر من الملأ الأعلى ويفخر من الملأ الأعلى يفخر من الله سبحانه وتعالى يوم القيامة بعد أن نفوز بالجنان ونأخذ شهاداتنا بأيدينا وتقودنا ملائكة إلى أماكننا وأماكننا ويعني مستقرنا في الجنة آمين آمين. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. I bear witness today, today and every day, there's no God but one God. And I say with me that Allah SWT is the Maker, is the, the one who crafted the universe, He's the one who made all the creation. And I bear witness that Prophet Muhammad SAW is the Messenger of Allah. He's the last seal of all messengers. There is no prophet after the Prophet Muhammad He is the last. He is the seal. He is the brightest. He is the first and the last. He came the last prophet, but he is the first in terms of all what he brought to, to seal, to conceal the prophethood, is what the first uh, messenger ever brought. So he is the seal. He is the end. He is the best. He is Prophet Muhammad <laughs> And with these two shahadas, we are proud to be Muslims. To this two shahadas, we are proud to be a wake walking Muslim. We are proud to be observing Muslims. We are proud to be um, successful Muslim. We are proud to be Muslims when we have and when we don't have. We are proud to be Muslims when things are harder and when they are softer. We are proud to be Muslim when we have everything or we have nothing because you always have hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I'm not going to make this khutbah very short, decisive, and direct, concise, inshallah. And it's, the title of the khutbah is The State of Your Deen, The State of Your Faith in a Pandemic Time, Pandemic Era. How are you negotiating your faith? How are you struggling or wrestling with all things that are about to take you away, snatch you away from Asurat al -Mustaqim? And that will show some of the news and our personal experiences as we go on. The first thing that I want you to know, that ayah that I read, which Allah Taala said, "Ya ayha al-ladina amanu taqullah, wal tanzur nafsun ma qadamat lilad." Oh, you who believe, the call is not for general population; it's a directed, pointed to all who believe, you and I and every Muslim everywhere. Ya ayha al-ladina amanu taqullah, oh, you who believe. Fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And let each soul 
Can do be enough. Let each soul calculate, reflect, mark a demand regarding what he or she has forwarded for itself, what she has done for the life after death. Well, Tanzur Nafsun, Mark Demat, Ligadin, what have you done for tomorrow? What have you done when the life is over and the new life started? Well, Tanzur Nafsun, Mark Demat, Ligadin, you all have to, like a driver, if you are a good driver, I'm not talking about bad driver, there are many bad apples and drivers. If you are a good one, when you drive, you have to be reflecting with the cars coming behind by using the mirror, the rear mirror left and right and the middle in the middle so that you can drive safely while moving forward. You are driving forward but you are also watching behind to see who is a crazy driver running towards you. That is the strategic way to succeed in this life. You can't just blindly going forward because someone is going to hit you from behind. You need to be checking who is my back, who is coming there before you take your rounds. Well, Tandur Nafsun, make sure if you are reflecting upon what you have done. You are living this life successfully but then careful as how are you navigate, navigating and preparing for the life to come. If you don't do this thing, you will fail big time. You may be a Muslim for a long time. You may have worn the kufi and the thobe all the time. You may have your whatever you, the liquor bit in your neck all your life. But your Islam will not go, it will not jump, it will not fly high. You need to have policy. In this world today, we have uh, uh, financial management, they have social management, they have economic management. You need to manage your faith. You need to manage your destiny as you are heading towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So, in this time of pandemic, you have to manage even more because everything that used to be normal is no longer normal. Life has ceased to be normal again. Maybe in Ghana we don't have that much of cases, but I'm telling you, there's a lot of cases going on across the globe. People are dying and dead as I'm speaking now. People are suffering in the hospital. People are on their uh, ventilator. People are being supported by machine. When you pulled off the machine, they are dead or we bury them. So don't take it lightly. You are young and energized and we want you to stay safe. So be careful as you navigate this time. I know we have less cases, but we have to do more to make it even lesser. So don't just be, oh, we don't have in Ghana, you're going to be sick and maybe dead. When we need your energy, when we need your contribution in making Islam greater, not again, but always. We want Islam to be greater again and again and every day in your life, every day in, the, in, in your community, every day within the, the, the youth circle, every day within whatever we can do to support. This masjid was built by a Muslim, by a brother who came as far away as Flest from Palestine, across the oceans and mountains. But he still know that he has obligation towards his brothers and sisters. And he sent money for this mosque to be built. That is visionary. That is a man of vision, a man of thinking. So if you are a youth and this mosque has been constructed, if you don't have money to, to add, use your strength. Come here and shuffle and bring the, the, the bricks and do something. Someone can do by his energy and someone can do by his financial energy. It's not just one energy. We have a lot of energies. Bring your, your muscle. You are young and strong. I know. I can see you. If you can not support by your pocket, support by your muscles. Don't just use your strength out and showing people you. We want to shoot. I want you to show me your spiritual muscles. What about that? Come and help, come and support. Don't just wait until you are paid. I know money is important. But sometimes you need to also get paid by Allah. Think about it. And you can combine that. That's another point I want to do. I want to say. You can combine, you can multitask. While you are here being paid, wages low or high or middle, in middle, you can still be trying to, to, to work for Allah. Don't say I'm not going to help in the masjid because I'm not going to be paid. Don't say there's no enough income. You have to select your fight, select your agile. You have to have a science. It's a science of uh, reward making. A science of how to make reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And another thing that as youth in this pandemic time, so still when you are, you are having less access of getting out, manage your, your, um, your, 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 your movement. Find something to do during the time of pandemic. That's the state of your faith during the time of pandemic or during the era of pandemic. Whenever you have this opportunity to go out, ask yourself, what can I do today? 
how can I clean some action? How can I get something gay? I mean, in America, people, as young as you are, they innovate how to make things different. A boy who is even like 12 years age, and this is something you need to learn. And sure, he innovates how to help the needy in his neighborhood, in the, in the hood, in the area. He, he knows the old people who are like 70, 85, who are more at risk with COVID, and go to the supermarket and bring them what they need. He may not bring them everything, but he did move a rock. He moved something. He did something positive. 12 years. What have you done during the COVID? He's just putting the mask and trying to flee from people. You, you can run, but you can't hide. So you need to do something for yourself. Innovate. Think well. So this is how you manage your faith during the time of pandemic. I'm not saying go everywhere and get the virus and die, but think of something you can do with the next door, with the old lady next door, with the old man next block, with your neighbor, a family member you know she's sick and cannot go out. And so you need to innovate. I'm going to leave that to you. How are you going to do it? It's up to you individual. And also, another point, while you are facing and struggling with pandemic time, when you when you are when you, when you are faced with an opportunity, when you are being faced with an opportunity, or an opportunity comes to you, try to make the best use of it. Try to make the best use of it. For instance, someone comes to you and says, "Hey, um, do you know someone who can help me do this?" This is a regular question we all have people come to you and ask you, "Do you know someone who can help me do this and that?" Ah, uh, if you don't know, it's all. I'm sorry, I don't know. Inshallah. You see, that's a good, you're, you're a good man. You are a good man. Your answer is okay. Oh, I don't know. I wish I know I would help you. This is not the best answer. Even though it's accepted. The best answer from the Islamic perspective is to say, you know what? Let, let, wait, let me call a brother. Let me call someone I know. He might have answer for you. It's the difference between the best and the good. A good will say, I don't know anyone. Uh, I, I wish you all the best. Bye-bye. It's your own business. And someone to say, look, to, to look at the next level. I don't know someone, but wait, let me do some make calls, some few calls to see if someone that is walking beyond the call of duty, going beyond just say, I don't have anyone. And call two, three calls, you find someone to do something. So this is how you can become more positive. You can become more you know, productive in the community and just don't become idle or just giving the least, give the best of you. Not just when you're taking, when you are, you are giving. When you are the one who is sick, but when someone is sick from you, this is the best thing he can do. And as youth, always, and this is the final major point I want for you, which is love, L-O-V-E. You need to have a lot of love. You know when I say love, I don't mean just love, the, the chemistry, loving women, or loving something, or loving money, I mean, the, general, the I mean the, the, the holistic meaning of love. You need to love yourself. You need to love yourself. If you love yourself, you would always protect yourself from pandemic, from COVID, from running around at night so that no one will shoot you. You will protect yourself from being joining a gang of violence, a protection uh, that will end up having you home. So you will love yourself by making sure that you know how you make your moves. If you have Holistic love, you would be caring for your parents at home when they are sick and when they are not even sick. If you have enough love, you would be making sure you have any type of job or skills or vacation so that you can be productive in your community. If we have enough love, when you see someone do something good, you will look at him and say, man, I love you for the sake of Allah. How many times have you said to someone, I love you for the sake of Allah? Sometimes we keep only these for women only. No. The Prophet said, If we have a love for a brother, let him know. Because you like him, you love him for the sake of Allah, for good he's doing. And he didn't tell him. And he didn't know. When something happened, that you know, sometimes we have some issues. Then he will build on some of the negativities he saw from you. He has no clue that you love him. And that could have been saved, could have, could have saved the, the situation. So if you love someone, let him know that you love him for the sake of Allah, and that helps to build the bridges, inshallah, of brotherhood, and keep you guys safe together in your 
immediate community and the farthest community and in your um, uh, uh, region and in your, um, within your family and in the whole country and beyond. You may travel tomorrow to America, to Brazil, somewhere, you take the legacy with them and show the world that yes you can, you have enough of morality, you have enough of ethic training, you have enough of science of making reward. Make use of every minute that Allah gave you so that when you return to Allah Ta'ala, you have basket full of reward. Go to Allah, make sure that your basket is full. Don't ever go to Allah with the basket empty. I'm telling you, it's not a, it's gonna be a strong, a hard day. Yawman Abusan, come to It's a hard day when everybody came with full of load. The brother who gave the money from America, who is original from Palestine. If you don't know Palestine, go and Google and search for Palestine. And ask about Aqsa Mosque. Where is it located? And the importance of Aqsa in our lives as Muslims. When he decided to send the money here, he is making the basket. He just want to add more into his basket. So go to Allah with your basket, load, full of good deeds, go to Allah. Let the angels clap for you. Well done. You are coming, your basket are full. Don't make your basket full of with cocoa, with food, but with spiritual food, so that you can succeed in this life and succeed in the life to come. Akul Kauli Hada. وأستغفر الله لي ولكم تستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. اللهم صل وسلم. إن الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا. اللهم إن صلى الله عليه وسلم والعفاف والغنى والفوت بالجنة من النار رب إشرح لنا صدورنا ويسر أمورنا وتوفنا مسلمين إن سماني ديوة تكون بكلا من جاب المفتر ما كلا بس من زمان المفتر ما بين المفتر من زمان زمان من دوري مهم منش وندا إذا سوري وندا مسلا جاكي دم وام من هنا بلاري بيني مسلمي يفتر كذا فلسطين غير إنك أقصى Budi ye ke nang muka baca lebar ini dah dah muka nak awak usah aku ibu kau tu muslih lagi. Ija agak sih nampi. Wan deh sih baru kita tu macam nak nampi dalam hidup aku. Hezza, demi ini nasa, nasa Allah yang kelish. Nasa dunia yang kita kari. Zaman itu Allah subhanahu wa taala. Jadi nak kari ini je jauh Allah kau dia zaman gak sih. Basket tu je. Ya cikat apa kau kau dunia apa kau kau lahiran. Ya sahulah nasa ada aljannah nak ada daddy. Aljannah Allah yang kelish. وأمتون ديه وحلا دنيا وحلا لم يرى من الدنيا إلا شقاء إلا جوع دنيا شلوك وحلا نه ده أنت كبش بدات كالجنة كوي كبا بداو شيء أشيل أشيل كاتب وحلا شيء بالله من سمس أبينا شو حلا بنت بس ما حلا بمجرد خمسة رجلة في الجنة وإذا سئل هل ذبت شقاء قط والله ما علمت شيء اسمه شقاء مجرد خمسة رجلة في الجنة إن كما كسر وتنش كموتا كويا أيك جدًا بيسا إن كسر أكفش بدأش كموتا أكفش تدي أكفش كاتو بجين داري إيش والله يقول بجين داري شيسا إن كسر كنا كنا بكر شنش كمود رم كي جانا نام تاتو جاب كده مانا كي ما كي بكرين كا يا يا حالي مسلمي كي شكين تام بندا ميك منا بكورونا بارز منا كي ما كي بكاري إن كفتو جي كفتو جي كومو كوي دون بويس في الله في الله في الله كم يشوف كم كفتو جي كولا بيان هي كشو كونا شو كونا Nak bina selalu cinta ramla semua bersemaruna. Anggota anjir mereka fikir sebilil lah. Kuna nak kerjakan kuda. Abenga macam tu. Ba macam rumput ada ba. Youth want to fight to show that sometimes wearing the the shirt the shirt the to show how built they are. I want to see the spiritual. So kuna semua kita iman kita kerfi. Kuna semua selalu cinta ramla Quran. Kuna betul ilmi ilmu kisukin. Cita nanti berhenti mama. Mama kita bukan kita dah berhenti semadi. Ko berdua mana dia ada. Always help nani. Ya ya kaki. Betul abdi mereka. Since coronavirus time, then before and after, is that we could carry, could share on that information to young people. Go and somebody, can make a cacao in the monka, cacao in the monka. Here I like you. Mom, we're gonna carry. She's gonna come. We're gonna walk. We're gonna say that in the cow is gonna carry. If you're gonna, is the money? Is it old? That cow is gonna walk. We're gonna carry. 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 Kau cuba sendiri nama bagus lagi cuba kau cuba. Abang mahu anda cuba the best. Mungkin awak dah fikir macam mana anda cuba. Baik, banyak orang baru call. Mungkin sama kerja solusi. 
تو یک مطمئن نگو تو آنی چیه که نکو من زیاد که انشالله الله بنی بام جد رب ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وقنا عذاب النار ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وقنا عذاب النار ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنا وفي الآخرة حسنا وقنا عذاب النار إن الله ملائكة وبيس بنا النبي يا أهل الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما سبحان ربك رب العزة ما يصفون سلام الحمد لله رب العالمين وقوموا إلى صلاة الحمد لله رب العالمين.